So there's been a bit of a scare around the tennis world with the world number one Yannick Sinner testing for a steroid or testing positive for a steroid twice in the last couple of months. But he has been cleared of that. Let's go have a look at what the situation is because it is very concerning. This is what Tennis Channel had to say in breaking the news a couple of hours ago, saying Gannick Sinner tested positive for a steroid twice, but will not be suspended. The Italian was stripped of prize money and points earned at Indian Wells, but won't be suspended because an independent tribunal said it was not intentional. Then having a look at the actual statement from the tribunal, it says here, Yannick Sinner cleared of any wrongdoing by independent tribunal. In April, Yannick Sinner was notified that he had tested positive for a trace element of a metabolite of the substance Clostabol, less than a billionth of a gram. Following a thorough and extensive investigation, the ITIA and Yannick discovered the inadvertent contamination of cholesterol came through the treatment he received from his physiotherapist. His fitness trainer purchased a product easily available over the counter in any Italian pharmacy, which he gave to Yannick's physiotherapist to care for a cut on the physiotherapist's finger. Yannick knew nothing of this, and his physiotherapist did not know that he was using a product containing Clostabol. The physiotherapist treated Yannick without gloves and coupled with various skin lesions on Yannick's body caused the inadvertent contamination. And this is what Sinner had to say in response to that in the same document. I will now put this challenging and deeply unfortunate period behind me. I will continue to do everything I can to ensure I continue to comply with the ITIA's anti-doping program and I have a team around me that are meticulous in their own compliance. So there you have it. What a scary situation for the tennis world in general, with the world number one being found with a with a banned substance in his body, or like being caught with you know testing positive for a banned substance. Very very scary stuff. Of course, we've just had for the last couple of years the Simone Halep situation. Totally different situation, of course. You know that that's been sorted as well. But man, Yannick Sin. I mean, who would have known that this could have happened? You know. But good to see that there's no wrongdoing. There was no intentional things going on and he'll be fine to play. You know, he was stripped of prize money and points and stuff like that. So that's, you know, that is what it is. You know, they had to do something, but no wrongdoing from Sinner, thank God, because that's the last thing we need is the best player on the planet who's having a phenomenal year, who just won Cincinnati to have him out of the tour because of this would be would be very, very shocking. So no, no wrongdoing for Sinner, everything's okay, but let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the rules? Do you think the rules are too strict? I mean, they have to be strict, don't they? They they have to be strict for this kind of stuff because if you let this stuff go, then the ones that are doing wrongdoing, are doing it badly, you know, trying to get away with this stuff, they'll get away with it too if you don't make it strict. So Yannick Sinner, cleared of no wrongdoing for some bad substances.